This video chart presentation of Conoco Oil and Gas brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. This is a TSX listed company trading under ticker CLL. It's a classic bottom play. See it closed up almost 14% yesterday. Real nice move. Classic case of just stair stepping down, trying repeatedly to set up a base, can't hold. But once again, a bottom support set at 18 cents. Nice move yesterday off of it. Going to pay attention to this now for continuation and see if this will be identified as a true bottom and if an upward trend is going to try and continue now. In the long term, MACD is indeed making higher lows. What I like about it is right now a bullish cross has just happened. I certainly will want to see that MACD continue to move upward, move towards zero, solidify the idea that there's a reversal in trend happening. It's just a huge PPO ADX pinch. ADX up near 70. Tells you that the downward pressure is very strong. But at those exaggerated levels, I look for the ADX to start to weaken, move its way down. Positive DI to come off the bottom, negative DI start to weaken as well. I look for the initial bounce, and then as the ADX is coming down, I look for a little bit of a retracement, PPO to continue to trend towards zero, and I look for a full-blown reversal at that point. Right now, this is still in classic bottom bounce play formation. Buying pressure that came in, pulled the 7 MFI out of oversold territory, showed people finally started paying a higher price for the stock. Accumulation distribution, making a little bit of a move. Again, just signifying the buying pressure that came in. Similarly with shake and money flow, a little bit of a turn starting to happen. Still a long ways from zero. Selling pressure over the last 20 periods is still clearly outweighing buying pressure, but it is making a move in the right direction. For bottom feeders, you mentioned this a lot of times, that break of negative 100 is a buy point. It'll be a hold unless it breaks back down through negative 100, but the point being to try and catch the full breadth of a bounce, People use that indicator and that break of negative 100 is the buy signal. Bull Stowe also made a turn, still in oversold territory, but early on signs that some bullish momentum is coming into the play. And the tricks, it's a lagging indicator, but it's even starting to flatten now, and given hints that a bullish cross could be coming, signifying a reversal in trend. All still very early on, but for a bounce play it's a very nice setup. Buying that came in on Wednesday, got the RSIs moving upward. Like the full stow, signal that some momentum is coming into the play. Key point is to break through 50 and get trending above that mark. But as always, it just comes down to the candles. The indicators just give us hints to start looking for the bounce. And in the case of CLL, for me, it would have to hold 18 cents on any retrace. There's no other support in sight, so that's a key level. If it did fall down and break through that, it would just be a sit back and wait for it to set up type of situation again. That 18 cent mark's imperative to hold. Now to the upside. I'd see some resistance at 23 cents. Now it's still a nice 10% upside just to go meet that level. And importantly, I'd be trying to push through this purple line, the 20 day moving average. It's a middle Bollinger Band. It's a sign of bullishness if it can make it through that. It helps reinforce the idea that a reversal may be in effect. Above that, it's going to keep stair stepping through resistance. A little bit secondary resistance up there around 26. Certainly some more up around 30. And it'd get real heavy if it made it back up near its 37 cent mark. But right now, it's always a baby step mentality. The move on Wednesday catches the attention. Now it's look for a bigger bounce to happen, then a retrace, see if it can make a high or low, establish a new support level, then try and break back through and make a new high. I'd certainly want volume to stay strong. That was a nice pickup in volume yesterday to 2.4 million shares. And for momentum to continue to build, that volume's going to have to stay strong. Then on any retraces, I want to see the volume dry up. And then on another move off a new support, I'll see volume pick back up again. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the CLL chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystock.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.